Say hey guys. Gary here. Well, of course it is. So welcome back. I don't know if you can see my new uh, apparel. What I'm sporting now. My wife uh, got these shirts for me for the shop. For the leather shop. And um, our plan or her plan is, is to is to uh, is to get uh, Gary and Emma Ray on the uh, on the shirts. She got me like four of them, and uh, it's gonna be my new shop shirt. So what I got going on today? So what I got going on today is um, a lot of people are giving me tips on how to take care of the the flush side of the leather. And I use this stuff, this uh, this leather flesh finish from uh, Rocky Mountain Supply, and uh, I didn't really care for it. So then I got people on YouTube that have commented and said to use token oil. And uh, so I'm going to give it a try because uh, this one here is that I use this stuff. And look at it, it didn't turn out very, very well. So I got a little pocket for my uh, bifold here, and it's really fleshy and flaking. It's whirling, you can tell that it's whirling. Uh, so they told me to use, people have commented and said that I can use token all. But never really told me how to use it. So I, I think I'm just going to use these applicators or whatever you want, these spread things. I'm assuming you just spread it. It's getting all messy. So I'm not sure if I'm even doing this right. So I'm hoping that you guys can make a comment down below and give me a couple of tips on how you spread it. Because it seems like this could get kind of expensive if you're, if you're doing a bunch of wallets. Or, I'm not sure if... Uh, if you're doing this on every every piece of a wallet or do you just doing it um, or are you just doing it on pieces of leather that are, are really fleshy <coughs> excuse me so I can't imagine so I'm assuming that I'm going to take a Take my glass liquor, maybe, and see if I can smooth this out some. It, it, it definitely different than the uh, than the other stuff. Definitely different than this. So I'm not sure if I'm doing this right. Where maybe I use too much. It gets it all over the place, though, I'll tell you that. But I'm a slob, anyways. So I don't know if just let that dry, I'm assuming. My, I'm just cleaning up my glass here. So I wonder if you just if you just do it on pieces that are that are fleshy. Mm. 
And I guess my other question would be, I'm assuming that you lit this because maybe I should apply some more because it's like, it's smooth here, but it looks, definitely looks better than this one. This, this, that just, just looks terrible. But this here, it definitely better. Maybe I'm putting it on too thick or so I guess I wanted to share with you guys that I did get your tips on using tokenol on um, using it on the f flesh side. I guess my question is is do you use it on all your pieces? You know, like all these. I've never done it before. These all look pretty nice. They're not fleshy at all. This piece don't look fleshy. But if I do it to one, this one is definitely seen. Is this the way the cash goes? No, I'm a little confused on when you would use this application. So I'm assuming when it dries, it'll... Well, I'm going to wait for this thing to dry before I make any assumptions. So I guess I'm going to let this dry. Alright, well, let me let this dry and I'll get right back to you guys. Okay, so I let it dry for a few minutes. It's definitely lightening up, uh, not so dark, what I'm seeing. It's definitely really smooth, but I'm not even sure if I did it right. So, do you, my question to you guys, <laughs> do you put it on all your pieces so they kind of look the same and then leave, you know, you're really never going to see this. Or that one, you know, when you're putting your card slot together. This one you're never going to see either. You know, because that's... This is kind of like where you, your pocket's going, so you have to be... Hmm. It wasn't a very good example because I don't, you're never going to see this. Yeah, it's like this. So you're going to see it here. And then you'll see a little bit here. You know what I mean, jelly bean? You know what I mean, jelly bean? So I'm wondering if I should just do these, this, and this one. And everything else can stay pretty interesting. It's just I'm working on this 10 wallet project. And this is just going to add a whole new step to it. I do like it, though. Anyways. Anyways, so I can get your thoughts on that. That would be great. I, uh... Not sure if I... Oh, oh wait a Bear with me. I'm not sure if I, uh... If I applied it correctly. And, uh, giving it time to dry... I guess my other question would be is if you use that stuff and then you know you go to use your your contact cement um, I'm assuming you're still going to rough up the edges and because of token oil and token oil I keep on saying token oil but token oil is on there I want that glue with the hold up so 
bunch of questions for you guys. Hoping that you can comment down below. And I uh, love to see, I uh, love to get your feedback on it because uh, I really like to use some of this leather that I have, but it's got some real fleshy sides to it. So I want to use some of it up and I hate to waste it. It's good leather. So that's all I got for you guys today. Thanks for watching. Uh, if you could hit the like button, if you like this type of stuff, um, hit the subscribe button. That's great. That would be great. I appreciate that. And then, um, uh, leave a comment. That would be great. And I'm also going to be doing a video. Sorry. I'm ready to say goodbye to you guys because I have to let you guys go. But I'm going to do a video of, uh, of this little valet tray. I made a, a, a couple of them, a few of them, and I would like to give them away to my subscribers or actually to anyone that leaves a comment. So I'm going to be making a video soon um, about those valet trays. Um, and then in that video, if you can comment, uh, and I'm going to do, uh, my wife and I are going to write down, I'm just going to try to make this as simple as easy. I, I'm, I don't want to make this complicated, but we're just going to write down, uh, everybody that commented and we're going to take their names and put them in a basket, scroll it up and pull out a name. And I will send you a valet tray for free and, uh, I'll pay for the shipping and we'll have to contact somehow, some way to uh to coordinate that but that will be coming soon not sure when but i'll be doing that video soon and uh, so again i have to let you guys go and i will catch you guys on the next one peace